Good morning. So how to stay motivated without just relying on the scales and how you feel, because ultimately we know that's just leaving it to chance. So um, if you're coming in, give me a hello. If you're on replay, drop a replay. I am just on the, the old bike this morning, if you're wondering why I'm bobbing up and down. Um, so reminder, if you are coming in for my free talk on Wednesday, the 26th of January, which is a week on Wednesday, that'll be on gut health, how to improve your gut health and ditch the bloating. If you're coming in with our January Kickstart, Marlborough, devices, or all from home, just comment on Kickstart or send me a message and I'll get you the details on that. So how to stay motivated without relying on the scales or how you feel, because that's taking it for chance. Well, first off, what I want to say before we go into that is that actually the way your weight is one factor and it's not just because I say other than the scales, it doesn't mean that I'm saying that weight doesn't matter at all because we know from research that it does, um, despite it being not the one thing, and we do put way too much emphasis on it, of course, like you look at some like weight loss clubs, swimming clubs, and it's the one measure that everyone often uses to often dictate your success or failure your self-worth, and it's, it's, a, it's a shame. However, we do know that it does reduce our risk of lots of diseases. Um, quality of life is associated, hey Becky, hey Brad, quality of life is also associated with this. So what I'm saying as well is, just because what I'm about to say almost says that we shouldn't just rely on weight, it doesn't mean that it doesn't matter. And that's an important thing in, in, in the whole nutrition space and fitness and exercise space is if, if you say one thing, there's a, there's a meme, isn't there? It says how the internet works. Someone says, I like oranges. And then there's a comment that says, what you're saying is you haven't mentioned, you're saying mangoes are rubbish and pears are rubbish. And how dare you not mention bananas? That is like a, like a, if you say one thing, you're saying the exact opposite about the other thing. That's not what I'm saying. So, and motivation, what you don't want to do is make that reliant on how you feel. Because how you feel is very up and down. It's going to be based on external factors which you cannot control. So often people will look at, live their life in the gap. And I talk about this a lot. So where we are right now is here. Where we want to be is here. And we live our life in that gap constantly. And that's great because there's a lot of excitement in there. There's a lot to look forward to, but there's also a lot of fear, there's a lot of negativity, can I do it? All of those things live there. When actually, if you look at the present and you look at the past, you'll see all the evidence and essentially confidence on your table there that you can just pick up whenever you want. And a lot of people don't live here. And how you can live there more is by setting process goals as well as outcome goals. So weight is very much an out outcome-based goal. Um, you can't 100% control that, but if you do things that probably know you need to do, it will probably go in the right direction at some point. However, it can be quite demotivating if your focus is on the weight straight away from day one and you don't see the change you want in a week. So what do we do here? So we can focus on more process-based goals, things that you can control today. So it's something that we talk about a lot. Have we got a book? Let me just grab it. With our food, fitness and focus and our kickstart. So we talk about, um, this has three legs of a stool. So let me just turn it around actually so we can see it a bit better. So we've got that food habit, that fitness habit, that mindset self-care. So that the three legs of the stool. And how we describe this is if you get those three things right, things will start going in the right direction. So if we were to then focus on more process-based goals and, and things that we tick off each day. So the food habit could be as simple as protein every meal. And I talked about that. Uh, yes, it could be tracking your calories if you want to be writing things down. It really depends on your life. It could be planning a stack. It could be checking in with us. Whatever that one thing is, if you tick that off each day and you're like, have I done it? Yes or no? Have I done it? Yes or no? Now we've got some accountability in there. Now we've got a simple reason. Have I done it? Yes or no? Rather than how's your week been? It's been all right, I think. But I'm absolutely knackered. Should be doing more. Da, 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 da. Yeah, at the start of the week, we said, these are the habits we're going to do. Have you done them, yes or no? Can you see the difference there? We've set a clear expectation. We know what we're expecting of ourselves and we're in 100% control of doing it. 
Because if you don't do that, you do leave it to chance of one, an outcome that, that will go up and down and you can't control. Here's why. So when you look at the scales, that can be influenced by what time you went to bed the night before. Okay, if you go to bed later and you generally ate later, you will have more food going through your gut, digestive system, hence why if you wake up at the same time, as a lot of people do, the result of that will be that you weigh more. You may have more salt in your diet. You may eat more vegetables one day, which means if you eat more vegetables, you will have, again, more fermentation. Maybe you ate too many Brussels sprouts. Who knows, maybe you exercise, you've got some damage in your muscle tissue as well. All of these things start to add up. And all of a sudden, you, you're actually weighing more even though you're doing these positive things, right? So that's a reminder of why you should not just use weight, although it is a factor. Hope that helps. Any questions on that, do let me know. Like I said, if you want more information about our Kickstart, uh, do comment with Kickstart for January or my free talk on gut health, which is a week on Wednesday, 8 p.m. Comment with gut health and I'll get you the details. Have an awesome Sunday and I'll see you soon. Take care.